Hey everyone, welcome back and in this video, we're diving into the versatile features of NoCodeDB's FormView. Let's get started. FormView allows you to arrange fields in a form to input data. To demonstrate, I have an event planning database set up with multiple tables and views. Let's make a new registration form for the attendees and click Create. Let's break down the form view builder layout into four sections. First up, we have the form area. Here you can personalize your form and this area also acts as a preview of the form. You can upload a banner image. I'm going to keep the same. Let's upload a logo. Select this, crop it and save. You can then change the title of the form and let's add a form description. Formatting options are supported for description field. You can also use markdown to format the text. Next, we have form fields. This section allows you to customize each field. You can select a field to edit it, change the field label displayed on the form, or add an optional help text and toggle the option to mark fields required. Required fields are marked with a red asterisk in the form. You can also add powerful custom validations about which we'll be discussing in the upcoming videos. You also have the option to hide or show fields, reorder the fields, add a new field Let's add membership status with a single select type. You can configure the options layout to be displayed as a drop down or an inline expanded list. Next up, we have appearance settings. Here you can adjust the visual aspects of your form. Let's try changing the background color. There are also toggles to hide Noco TV branding and the banner, but I'm going to keep them both. Next, we have the post form submission settings. Here you can choose your preferred settings for after a form is submitted. You can set up a custom message to display upon successful submission of the form. Now let's make this form accessible to the public using the share button. Enable public viewing, open in a new tab, and there we go. Now when someone submits the form, the fields in the attendees list table will get populated automatically. Additionally, NoCoDB offers pre-fill forms and survey forms which are super useful for different scenarios and about which we'll be discussing in the upcoming videos. That's a wrap on the basics of NoCodeDB forms. There's plenty more to explore, so please make sure to like this video and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.